Hello folks, in today's video I am going to show you how you can create users for different personas. For example, let us say there is a group of developers and some testers and some Jenkins admins. How to give them access to your Jenkins installation and in a secure way so that each of them doesn't overstep on others responsibilities. So let us go ahead and see how we can do this. Here I am in my fresh installation of my Jenkins server and you can see here I am logged in as admin. So let us go ahead and see how to create some users. So if you go to the manage Jenkins section and scroll down you will find an option called as manage users and under manage users you will find create user. So let us go ahead and create a couple of users now and I'm just going to create a user called as Dave and then Dave is going to be a developer in my organization. I'm just going to say Dave is a developer and then Dave gets an email address as well and we are done with creating an user called as Dave. So if you have a tester let us call our tester as Jess and then Jess also gets an user ID. So Jess is a tester and likewise we also will create an one more user for Jenkins administration and I'm going to call this user as Jenkins admin and give some password for the admin So that is all it uh, is required to create some users for your Jenkins server. So how do I test it? Let us go ahead and see if I can log in with the dev as the user. I'm going to try and log in from my private browser so that we will have our admin installation as well as our testing browser as well. And once I log in with the dev, you can see here I, I'm directly in my dashboard and I can go ahead and do manage section and change the global security and all those sorts of things. But that is not what we wanted. We wanted Dave, the developer, to have only developer related privileges and not do admin related activities. So how do we do that? So for that we need a plugin which is going to restrict our users based on the roles that they are carrying. So let us go ahead and see how to install this plugin. I am back to my admin user ID. You can see here I am logged in as admin and I am going to manage Jenkins under manage plugins if you go to available section this plugin name is called as role based access so let me just go ahead and uh, try again let's try to get the spelling right r o e so here we go this plugin requires installation and then also restart as well let us go ahead and uh, install it and uh, allow jenkins to restart it as well and the installation is complete and it is going ahead and rebooting my restarting my Jenkins installation. My Jenkins has finished restarting. Let me go back to manage Jenkins section now. If you go to the global security now, you will find a new option which is called as role based security. So let us go ahead and enable that, apply and then click on save. So now if I log out of uh, admin or if I go ahead and check the dev user which has been logged in already. So since we have enabled role based plugin and if I go ahead and refresh my screen here Dave will be logged out and even if I log in Dave will not have any privileges. You can see here immediately it just tells me that I don't have any privileges. So how do I give Dave now the privileges only for developer related activities. So let us go ahead and see that now. We are back on our admin page here and under manage Jenkins if you scroll down to the bottom you will find something called as manage and assign roles. So this is what we are going to do now. We are going to manage our roles. So the first role that well, first you see here there is a global role and then project related roles and then slave roles. So under global roles I am going to add something called as an employee because most of my uh, users are going to be employee. And then I'm just going to say all the employees are going to get read level privileges that is overall they will be getting read level permissions and under project related roles what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say uh, there is going to be a group of uh, people who are called as developers and the pattern that I want to use is dev dot star that is all projects that are starting with the prefix of dev these uh, people will be getting access likewise I'm going to create another group called as testers and projects which are uh, prefixed with the test will be given access to them and let us go ahead and give them privileges that are required 
uh, we, they don't need credential access I'm just going to give them job level access so let us go ahead and check all these boxes which gives them the option to for the jobs and SEM tagging and then running the jobs as well so once we are done with this and then we can go ahead and uh, save apply and save this configuration so that is the first part of it now we need to assign some users to these roles that we have created for example we created an, uh, a role or a project role called as uh, devs and then testers let us go ahead and assign some roles and under the group of global group we have something called as employee let us go ahead and add that and I'm sorry we need to add our users Dave and Jess here that's what I meant to do that so all of them are going to be employees and then I'm just going to say Jenkins admin is going to be having the admin role here so under item roles now we have done the global roles under item roles what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say here Dev David is going to be a developer you can see here the groups developers and testers are available so I'm just going to say Dave and then let us add Jess as well so Dave is going to be my developer and Jess is going to be my tester so we have done our configuration let us go ahead and apply and click on save now if I go back to my Jenkins you can see here there is only a default project let us go ahead and add a couple of dummy projects one for testing one for uh, our developers so for the developer I'm showing to say dev dev day and it's going to be a freestyle project I'm not going to configure anything just going to click on next so that we have a dummy project available so if I go back to my dashboard we have a dev day project and then let us go ahead and create a test happy project so now we have three projects and one is a dev day another one is test happy if I go back to login as a dev now dev should be able to have access only to the dev, dev day project and not to other two projects let us go ahead and see if that is the case so here we are in the devs access page let us go ahead and refresh this screen now I'm just going to log out and log in let's go ahead and try with Jess this time better that way okay I didn't enter the correct password let's try it again so there you go you see that Jess is having access only to the test projects that we created one was a tested test project another one that I created just now is test happy so likewise if you log in with uh, Dave you will also find that Dave has only access to the dev related projects so that is how you create users and give them role based access to your Jenkins installation if you have any trouble in doing that go ahead and put them in the comment section we can learn from each other thanks for watching happy learning